and on the station for information on National Rail Park. this is my vlog intro by the way guys wait till you see my view but yeah i got a uh, room it's like it's not close to the circuit i could try to find hotels i booked it way i booked the event in time the hotel i waited a couple months to like january february and it was all sold out everything was sold out within like eight miles but i found a place a decent place close to the train station and i can get taxis to this track and that's fine i needed a place to stay though and i got one got a very nice bed Good bathroom, got a bath shower, and we got a monitor right here. Got a bloody monitor, mate. I should have brought my PS4 along. Well enough, you've got a uh, a nice mirror here. Got a nice little uh, painting there, but look what's next to me here. I'm on a lake. <laughs> it's a big dog view. There's a Ferris wheel over there. You can't, yeah, you can, you can sort of see that. This is a nice little place to come back to, yeah. Yeah, I'll take it anyway. I got a free Thursday ticket. Took the weekend ticket, Friday to Sunday, so I thought I'd get a hotel from Thursday night and then leave on Monday after the event, night after the event, just chill for a night more and then take a train home in the afternoon. That was still the plan, but they offered, they offered me a free Thursday ticket, so I'm taking that. Um, they said if you book the museum, you get a free pit walk, but I didn't book it in time. I'm still going to the museum. I want to do it right now. I need to get a taxi first. Um, I'm going to the museum and the shop, get some things, hopefully, but not the pit walk. I couldn't, I clicked on the email like a few hours too late and it was all sorted out. So, would have loved to do a pit walk, go along, along the pit lane, but I can't do it. But I'm still going to the museum, so yeah, let me just get a taxi sorted. Booked a taxi and uh, he came along and he told me um, he had to pick up his kids, he couldn't go to Silverstone. I guess he didn't know where he was going <laughs> until I told him, even though I booked it on, on an app. Uh, but yeah, they're sending another driver now. So it's just a bit of a uh, delay, it's just that it, the museum closes at six, last entry at five, and I want to spend a bit of time in there. <laughs> and it's almost three o'clock. This is, uh, it's, it's not going too smoothly. Also, did you see that water park? Well, I don't know what it is. The inflatables, turtle wipeout anyone? to wipe out i wonder if you can i don't want to do that i haven't bought any appropriate clothing anyway i've got to find out where this museum is but i've got some stands here i'm on the national pit straight which is like the second best place to sit in terms of the stands don't know where that is but let me just try and find this museum that's cops harry if you're watching that's that corner you always struggle on on the british grand prix that's it this is where i'll be coming well i'll be going to the track but it's gone through the entrance Still going. Clearly picked the wrong entry point. Are we sure we're on a racetrack? What's happening here? I swear I've seen about 25 ice cream vans. There's so many of them. Well, I found the museum. It's like 3.40 p.m. Hopefully I can get a good time in there and also hopefully the shop is still open by the time I come out.
near to you, leave the cars out and the booze will definitely. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Ricciardo's Red Bull from 2014. Not Vettel's one, favorite driver. Um, Hamilton's Mercedes, some really cool like F1 cars in there, actual cars as well. And the ending bit, I didn't record it, I recorded the start of it because I wanted to be like actually like <laughs> watching it. It was just an interactive lap of F1, but they did like different like Formula One cars, motorbikes, like Valentino Rossi, for example, other motorsport events and they factored in like real life crashes at Silverstone into one lap of Silverstone. It was cool. It wasn't amazing, but it was cool. Uh, they just showed a cinematic on the big screen of uh, Abu Dhabi last year. A lot better than uh, Travis Device version. Very more in depth. It was a good watch. Controversial ending, but a good watch. That's one cap store. I've already bought some caps. But that's kind of, it sounds like my kind of store. Hmm, <clears throat> where's the Ferrari one? When I went to Maranello, the home of Ferrari, they did not have those Puma replica shirts. I've been looking for those. I mean, I've seen them online, but even then online, they've been like sold out slightly. But I went to the home of Ferrari and didn't have them. And I see at Silverstone, there's a shop full of them, not just shirts, but... Well, I was looking for the polo shirt, but it was like a regular shirt, a t-shirt, a hoodie. I'm just like, I'm spoiled for choice here. Although it's expensive here, my word. It's very expensive here. As if my ticket wasn't enough. It's currently raining. I've been out here like an hour, over an hour, waiting for a taxi. I've been going through all the apps, all the websites. Either they're too expensive or they're taking too long. But even the expensive ones are taking too long. So, yeah. I finally got a taxi and he's sort of gotten lost. There's a lot of gates, obviously. I told him where I am. Hopefully, he's there in two minutes. It's only 6 30 pm, but tomorrow <laughs> I'm gonna stay back because there's, there's concerts like today, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There's like a main event concert every night. I wanna see Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Just today, I'm too tired because I went to Milan last night. Then I got four hours sleep before getting on the train, so. Not, not enough, not enough. But tomorrow, I don't, I don't think I'll have any issues getting there. I think getting there should be fine because I'm going to go in the morning. But getting back at night might be a nightmare. This is If this isn't motivation to make me learn to drive, I don't know what is. I'm going to start learning to drive in September. All right, mark my words. After my Australian holiday, I'm going to start booking driving lessons because this is ridiculous. <laughs> You could book buses to be fair, but the hotel I booked isn't convenient for buses. So I got this rather cool keyring of the Silverson track. So uh, yeah, I've already got a keyring of an F1 car and a Ferrari keyring. So I thought I'd get something more unique and this is unique to the racetrack. So that's elite. Also, how many caps do you need? <laughs> now I promise you guys, I am still a Ferrari fan, but just thought I'd get a collection of you know not every team but the teams that I like the colors of and uh yeah <laughs> to be honest in terms of like look that's the best cap for me anyway <laughs> but yeah but what's in there this is what i really wanted in marinello they only had the kids version they did not have the adult size it was all sold out it's a popular top i finally got it I got the polo shirt version there's also a t-shirt there's a jacket there's so many different there's even a um a gilet as well <laughs> there's so many different types but this is the one i specifically wanted and i also got a hoodie because i love wearing hoodies anyway and the fact that they i didn't even know they did, they did hoodies for this but yeah <laughs> it's not cheap but considering i'm only buying these like <laughs> once in a very long time 
I'm glad I finally have these. At least some version of these anyway. There's obviously different like different editions of them, but this is also like this is one of the coolest versions that I that I've wanted for a while. And uh I finally got not one, but two. <laughs> I am sorted. Oh yes. Also, I did see some Red Bull clothing that I quite liked, so even though I'm a Ferrari fan, I might consider some Red Bull clothing. My favourite driver's Sebastian Vettel. He won four titles with them, so you know. It it can be excusable, but I'm gonna wear Ferrari to uh to the track. So uh, yeah, look to the schedules. Obviously, examples for forming tonight probably like pretty soon. I saw people like people who are swarming in probably to see example on the main stage. He's the main event at like I don't know what time, the last hour. There's events before that on the main stage. On Friday tomorrow, Sigala's performing. I assume that's how you pronounce the name. I don't know. <laughs> I've listened to some of their songs. It's pretty good. The one with Talia Ma recently was good. Um, I wonder if she's in Silverstone. I don't know, but they're performing tomorrow. Um, Saturday's Bastille and Sunday is Mabel. I really like Mabel as well. She's got a good voice. Got some good songs. So, uh, I mean, the Friday and Saturday ones at 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. I assume they're, they're the main event. There's events before that. And then 8.30 is Mabel, I think, on Sunday. So... I kind of want to see all three of them, you know? I'm there for the racing. I want to see the F1. I've also been watching highlights of F2 and F3 races, so I want to kind of see those. Although, the feature races for both of those are early in the morning on Sunday. So it depends if I wake up in time, to be honest. Because I, I do want to see them. And also W Series I'm interested in. So I want to see that. I've mainly seen just highlights of that as well. So I'd love to see that live as well. So it's not just F1. I'm there for the racing, F1 and other races. But also... I paid a lot of money, and to see a concert on top, even if it's a mini concert, three times over, I'd say I'm probably going to do it. It's just finding a taxi that's in. Maybe if I'm coming home at night, back to the hotel at night, taxis might be easier to come by. Maybe, because most of the F1 fans will be gone. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, hope you enjoyed today. This hotel's not soundproof. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And goodbye.